This story for us live from Copenhagen. He joins me from there. Nick, a, a big win now for the Prime Minister. It was a real nail biter overnight. Finally, her left wing bloc was able to hold on to power and hold on to a majority of seats because of votes coming from the autonomous Danish regions of Greenland and the Faroe Islands, providing her with three more seats in Parliament, giving her uh, a one seat majority in Parliament. Metro Fredriksen called throughout the campaign for the formation of a grand coalition. It looked like she might need to rely on this new moderate party to stay in power, created by a former prime minister, uh, but it looks like a clean win for the left-wing bloc in a Danish parliament. Nick, what were the biggest issues on voters' minds in this campaign? Well, you know, we talked to a good number yesterday as they voted at City Hall, and uh, health care is a big concern, as was the environment, as was the security situation uh, caused by the war in Ukraine, and consequently the economic situation caused by the inflation, which came as a consequence of the war in Ukraine. Denmark is often rated the happiest country in the world, you know, by people who, who ask this kind of question. But there's a real feeling of stress and a real feeling of a need for security. And what Metro Fredriksen was promising was to build a broad, big tent coalition, a kind of grand coalition of the kind you see in Germany. And she has pledged, now that she has the authorization from the, the Queen, to proceed, to proceed in creating that kind of... Uh, coalition that goes and involves the center-right in the new government that she is to form in the days and weeks to come.